Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome to the Dolphin Bookshop, which is 66 years old, has been in Port Washington all of those years, has been well loved and supported by this community, by generations of kids over the years. The woman who had owned the store, Mrs. Swenson, announced to my mother one day that she's selling the store because she had a chance to have a ballet studio. So we as a family with no money, no idea how to run a business, managed to buy the store and struggled for a long time to try to get it going. So it was my mother, my father, my sister and I. And my sister and I were teenagers, like about 14 years old at that time. And, and then I just, you know, made it into my home. My father had a heart attack. My mother announced to me, similarly, she said, you know, I'm going to sell the business. And what I was overwhelmed with was this feeling of always thinking it was going to be there for me, that at any hour of the day or night, I'd be able to just come in and kind of find this comfort in coming into the Dolphin Bookshop. And I thought, wow, if we sell it, I won't be able to do that. You know, I won't have the keys anymore. So I said, I'll buy it. I still feel committed to the idea of community and serving this immediate community. So the challenge we're facing now is that the marketplace has gone from people needing something and coming into their village to get it to really having the ability with the phone in their pocket to access the larger marketplace and therefore not really even thinking in terms of having to come in to the store. You know, you might know what you need and you can find it online, but coming in here is a very different journey where you might come in and think you're looking for something, but by talking to anybody here and even talking to other customers here, you're sort of led on a different path. And I believe that that experience is a really vital part about being human. So you may be able to shop easily from home and be isolated and get literally the product you need, but you miss the journey. Coming here is, is a whole experience. It's a whole like lifestyle experience and it's not just getting a book, but it's getting everything that comes with it. The interaction with people, the, the opinions that you become, that you get from people, the, uh, the new ideas, inspiration, all that. So I spend my whole working day in front of a computer. Of course, I have like a little um, smartphone that I'm carrying around with me for everything, checking emails and staying in contact with people. But I never, ever read a book that's not on paper because the paper feeling is like, I take it with me in bed. I don't, can't even imagine taking a uh, electronic device in bed with me to read. It's just not wouldn't give me the right amount of relaxation and distance for my work. It would be just like an extension of work and that, that's just not what I'm looking for when I'm reading a book. I have had times that I would come here looking for something, running into another person that I haven't seen in a while, talking for like half an hour and more, having like other people joining our conversations. It was really like a, a almost like a hangout place. And with the addition of the cafe now, it's, it's just a perfect thing because now you don't have to feel guilty anymore doing that. You just sit down and have a, have a cup of tea, have a cup of coffee and, and chatting and, and feel like it's actually meant to be like this, like what we did before anyway. Now it's more like official. The cafe is a, a new adventure for me and for the store and I'm very excited about it. It actually embodies for me you know the whole idea of a place and a place where people can gather and have an exchange of ideas, actually get to know people, um, kind of shed that feeling of isolation that you know is part of the time we're living in. The key to success, uh, definitely being flexible and being willing to, to look honestly at what is working and what is not working, trying not to be attached to things that you're sort of comfortable with but, but may not be the right thing. Mm -hmm.